milestone for the Blues too is Celine Moody, who's crossed to join Sister Bree in the off-season for the Dogs, plays game 50. Good starts in the ruck. And the Pies will find a way to extract early through Barnett. Allen slipped over. And to that point, they can effectively leave the ruck to Jess Good, who's ninth in the competition for hitouts this season, averaging 23 and racking them up in the early minutes. Gearan. Shera got it back from McKay and the Blues are connecting inside 50. She kicked two goals in a practice match against North in 2020 in just her fourth game of footy. What a strike for Lardo! Jen Lawson, Tavern and Mimi Hill working together. And they're quick to round up here, the Blues at the stoppage, but they left the front door open. Can came flying through. Fitzgerald sold her teammate into all manner of trouble. Not the flattest part of turf for Michaela Can to navigate here. Drop punt, or well, the banana is the consideration. Can goes the conventional route, and it nearly worked. 1 5 for the season. So Karen Peterson, who's had a stop start campaign, can well and truly clear 50. But only for a moment is Allen. Jordy Allen takes the benefit of a 50. Hasn't kicked a goal since round three last year against the Cats. Put it right, to put it right. Collingwood in front. Can missed the running slicer. Instead, the opposing 18 Gearin can take it and send it deep. Velato after the bouncing footy. Cronin couldn't get a glove on her, but there was someone to help. Terrific tackle in defence from Jordy Ivey. It also is Magpies are sending another forward up to the contest, so they've got nothing to kick to, as we just saw there with Benita. Down, perfect. Right to the advantage of Bree Moody. Two-time Blues, best and fairest, has kicked goals in three of her last four matches. That is now four of five. Bro goes low down, Hill. Heading back to McKay, who goes to ground. Gets away from her hands, but not Brown. Shera. Hill missed it to the outside. Butler versus Pound. Oh, terrific from Gab Pound. That's a huge ground ball win. Inside 50, off the head of Morris. Allen hoping for a free, but not forthcoming. That is inspirational from Gab Pound. <laughs> Finn puts Carlton into attack. Back with a flight, not able to mark with Shuddy. Pies look for an exit. It's about to come back in. Austin, repeat efforts. There'll be an opportunity coming at some stage. She looks so dangerous. Gear it on the scene. Spun in the tackle and then some. In week one against the Hawks, a goal in week two. Nothing since for Mia Austin who's kicked 16-7 in her AFLW tenure and is sharp again. Sabrina Frederick's been doing a lot of warming up on the interchange. Can denied by Peterson. And Pies bring the margin back to 10 points. Cordner, good pressure in the forward 50 from Fowler. Won't get a statistic for it, Lib, but the Pies live to fight another day after Carlton have owned territory in the last 20 minutes. Yeah, it's a much better start here by the Pies. You can see one that they would dearly like on the field, Bree Davey, just giving some teammates a hug, but we'd love to see her back in action, obviously, next year. Got it to Brown, who's stayed in the same spot to once again be the exit option. The kick was iffy. Okay for Goss. Brown trying to clean up. Maybe had time to drive the legs instead. Kicked off a single step. Morris confused and set upon by Halfpenny. Kane's flown that kick. Ramos deserves it on effort alone. Kick heads for Gearan. Three bites, but not a complete feed. Frederick to Rowe, could use Butler, Ivy against the boundary instead, headed for Remos, now to Rowe, 
had to somehow fashion a kick. Can after it, taken down. Porter, no fist on that. Carlton's pressure has been supreme. Came off Celine Moody as far as Atkinson, who's taken to ground. I'd also love to see the Pies forward just create a little bit more chaos inside 50, doing a few more running patterns, a few blocks. Frederick, she was the chaos. Ramos touched on the way through. And that would have created another forward half chain, but then t territory gained from Matty Guerin there. Blues with the only three inside 50s of the quarter. Guerin, numerous players to beat forward of the footy. For half Penny and Co. We see Benici there just getting some knee tests done. We'll get Laura on that. Yeah, she was a bit slow to get up on the sideline after that fall and the physio came straight over to her and obviously now she's just getting that assessed. Hopefully no relation to that incident to the ACL she suffered here in season six against the Dogs. Heads for a one-on-one. -on -one. It suits a former blue in Brazali who can let fly if she's allowed to run a bit of a curve here. Instead, good penetration off the kick to find Fowler. Erica Fowler, no goals this season. Back in last week, majors against the Bombers and Cats last season. Fowler misses to the right. Driving ball for Gearan and Moody. Hand in from Shearer. Ortlet got it to McKay. Goes back to Shearer, who slides away from Frederick. Onto her left. That's some finish. <laughs> Humid conditions in Melbourne this afternoon. Two taps from Frederick to Remos. Pivoted. Got it to Benici, who had more time. The Pies do have numbers. Port in a row, who can steady. Check the kick cleverly to the advantage of the leading Barnetts. 2-6 this season for Imogen Barnett. Shapes it home. Coleman, stay alive. In the meantime, Amelia Bellato has also been having what looks like a hamstring assessed on the Carlton bench. She's been doing some oh, runs. Oh, what a fly from Robertson. In just a sixth game. Go short for Finn. So final quarter upon us at Victoria Park. Good. Cheryl, oh, McKay, sorry, wore one and is down in the centre circle. Blues playing one down. White looking to take advantage. Caught in a flu. Peterson has Butler hanging off her. And there's Abby McKay gingerly in game 51. Jogging to this stoppage. Allen. Shera, just as we spoke about, inside, outside, offense, defense. Father Gavin, of course, with history at both clubs. Pies as a player and coach. The Blues for three seasons as an assistant. And now it's a blue down in Gap Pound. A rattling first three minutes to start the last. It continues. Rowe with the front half intercept. Can get the hair pass to Can. No, it's a kick in the end. It comes to Clark who tackles Gearin. Now Can gets her moment and takes it! <laughs> Allen at the back. Wilson Tavern dropped it. Atkinson funnels it wide. Peterson against Butler. Butler snaps. That's miraculous! <laughs> New attack. Go the visitors. Shorty went to ground. Gearin paddled by Celine Moody. Finn, flying Finn, got it! Two goals to one in the last. Slicer cut in half by Finn. Thought that might have been a high tackle, Nudge. He was close as everything seemingly been today, Lib. 
Dana Finn having some huge moments. A goal and now a tackle to stop one of the stars of the league. One last chance. Kicks into a Carlton player and that might be it. Goss. And the moment is gone for Collingwood. Allen to Livingston and Carlton make a winning return to Victoria Park. A four-point victory delivers a fourth win of 2024.